What is up, obscure mic people? It's Bark. I'm back with a condenser microphone, as if you didn't know by the thumbnail. I've got the Donner DC87 large diaphragm condenser microphone. DC87, not a play on the U87, I'm sure. And it's a tall sucker, so probably still nothing to do with trying to be the U87. Well, it doesn't matter. The last mic I got from Donner, absolutely fabulous. Now I got this condenser microphone, which with a coupon, you can get for well under a hundred bucks. I believe $80 right in that price range, 75, 80 bucks with the coupon. Link down below if you want to grab it. Let's go to the unboxing video. Today we've got the Donner DC87 large diaphragm condenser microphone comes in a box that is just as nice as the dynamic that we saw from Donner. Whoa. I have already opened this fully admitting that you get a Donner leather carrying pouch like we did on the dynamic user manual. How to use a microphone. In this black sleeve, we have a pop filter. Yes, it's a pop filter. All right, let's set that off to the side. We have a, what feels to be a 10 foot XLR to XLR. Always a nice touch. I always appreciate it. Then look at the nice velvet padding. Got to say shock mount. It's plastic, but it's uh it's pretty good plastic. It feels pretty good. Feels pretty robust. Screws right onto the bottom of the mic there. Also a 3/8/5/8 adapter. And yeah, good good movement, good stiffness. Mm, yeah, stiffness. And let's check out the mic. Maybe. All right. All metal. Multi pattern. Omni cardioid figure eight. Donner logo at the bottom. XLR port. Ooh, we've got a uh, 10 decibel pad. And we've got a low cut filter can tell it is a large diaphragm condenser good weight to it the grill's pretty strong i could dent it if i wanted to i guess but that is a nice build quality there from donner let's get this thing hooked up all right so real quick the pop filter pop filter it has like a uh a zip tie system to it there's a little clamp here on the shock mount and you press that can't really see the ridges probably but there are ridges there we go see those ridges you got a little clamper up here and uh yeah it's it just clamps up in there the screen is metal i believe this is plastic definitely metal there a little closer to the mic now we're going to take this out. Um, I'll do this, though. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. By the way, pineapple and pizza, incredible. It's just incredible. But uh, plosives without the pop filter, yeah, you know, a little harsh. Plosives with the pop filter, pretty good. Uh, thoughts about this microphone? The build quality is excellent. The price is excellent. The shock mount is pretty good. It's all plastic, but it's a strong plastic. I keep looking at it because I'm just, I'm kind of amazed by what Donner is doing for such a small price. I'm just kind of amazed. Instant thoughts here. A um, little bit sibilant because this is a brighter microphone, though it's not overly harsh. I think it's fairly smooth and it's actually got a, a nice, uh, maybe Behringer TM one ish sound, but smoother. So cheaper than the Behringer TM one, 
smoother than the Behringer TM1. And I like the TM1, so I think we've got a budget condenser, not to get all gushy about it, out of the bag, but what the heck, man? It's multi-pattern as well, filters on it as well, comes with great accessories for a great price yet again. Donner is just killing this thing already, absolutely killing it. Not saying this is one of the best mics I've ever heard, but it's pretty damn solid. This is pretty damn solid. Let's get right up on it, man. When you get right on top of the Donner DC-87, this is what it sounds like when you are right on top of the Donner DC-87, and I like that proximity effect. I like that proximity effect a lot, and I do apologize if you, if me and condensers, I get a little mouth clicky, especially after I eat a freaking cheeseburger, which is what I do. It's who I am. I eat cheeseburgers a lot and cookies and shit. I eat, I eat, I don't eat a lot. I just eat a cheeseburger. That's like a lunch or a dinner and you know, Oreos, I'll do a line and just, that's a lot, but that's rare. I do. Or why am I talking about food with you guys? Portion size. That's all I'm saying. Very important. I, uh, I'm not at my biggest. I'm not at my, well, I'm, I'm not at my smallest in the past 10, 15 years, but portion size, one line of Oreos, people, one line once a month, one line. They can be double stuffed. It's fine. I older I get, the more sweets kill me. Double stuffed was awesome. Now I don't like double stuffed. It's all about singles. What the hell am I doing? It's a mic. We're talking about a microphone. We're not talking about Oreos and hamburgers. Let's do some off axis rejection. We're going to go ahead and turn the microphone 90 degrees off axis rejection, 180 degrees off axis rejection since I can 90 degrees off axis rejection. And then, oh, I was really hoping it would spin all the way around back to the front of the microphone. Let's tap on it a little. It's pretty good body. That's what she said. Not my body. That's not a good body. Boom arm. Let's tap on it for the sake of knowing I'm using an OC white, uh, accu light boom arm and Got this off B and H for 30 bucks, man. Used. It's beautiful. Perfect. It's got the XLR cable built in, which is the reason I've got this upside down because I can't put it the other way unless I want to plug in another XLR or try to pull more XLR through. And I don't want to do that. It's tucked away really nicely. I'm telling you having an XLR through the inside of a boom arm, kind of a game changer looks wise and aggravation wise. Anyways, I like this mic. Let's go through some of the polar patterns. We're on cardioid now, and we have been the whole time, which is what I'll always try to do is start out on cardioid because it's pretty much what you should be using unless you're doing something very artsy or special. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. It's just cardioid is the way to go if you got Omni and figure eight, unless you need figure eight for a specific purpose, Omni for a specific purpose. More specific, I mind you, than you know, just speaking into the microphone, one person. This is omnidirectional, Ch just change, a lot of change there. Let's go ahead and spin it around. That way you can see that no matter where I'm at, omnidirectional is going to pick me up everywhere the microphone goes. And it is a lot different, a lot, lot different, thinner, weirder, strange. Palette cleansing cardioid, and I'm going to leave the switch clicks in there so you can see what kind of noise it does make when switching between those polar patterns. Let's go to figure eight. Now we're on figure eight. Sounds a lot like Omni. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and it does cut like a knife. And then we go the other way and this is the figure eight pattern. And again, man, I just back to cardioid. I just, I don't like, and it's every mic. But I don't like when the sound changes so drastically. Maybe it's just in my headphones. I don't think so, though. It's cool to have those features, especially at this price. They're still knocking it out of the park. There's a lot of things you can do with this mic because of those features. This isn't the only mic that sounds different in different polar patterns. It's almost every damn mic I've ever used that has multi-pattern. I just don't care for it. If I need an Omni, I'll buy an Omni. If I need a figure eight, I'll buy a figure eight. But that's not to say I don't appreciate when someone crams those features into a mic with a price point like this, let's do some filters. Talking into the microphone, and I'm going to enable the 10 decibel pad as I'm talking, 
and I, 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 it definitely, it takes a second to kick in, but here's the 10 decibel pad. It took a second. Now we're going to switch back over off of the 10 decibel pad. There we go. That's better. Man, this mic, the sound of it in cardioid without a filter switch on is pretty pleasing to me. Like the low end is nice and warm, not overly warm. So it's not dark, nothing like that. It's just got a warm, smooth low end. And it's, uh, it's not overly scooped. It's a little bit V-shaped, not a ton V-shaped, but the brightness up top is just clear and it's not very grainy. It's not harsh. It's not, you know, like a, a freaking scouring pad against a piece of wood. I don't know. I was talking about Oreos and hamburgers earlier and I'm still making the motion like I'm scrubbing stuff. So I don't know what the hell is going on with me tonight, but it must just be joy, 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 joy down in my mic. Joy, there's joy down in my mic. This is, this is stellar for the price, man. Absolutely stellar. Let's go ahead and do the last pad and I'm going to leave you guys alone because I'm losing my mind. Talking into the microphone, I'm going to enable the low cut. All right, there's the low cut filter. Did that do anything? I don't know if it did anything or not. Let me go ahead and go back. All right, now it's, uh, yeah, it did. Okay, so we've got low end. That, I've got something to say about that. All right, there's the low cut filter. To my ears in my headphones, that is not a crazy, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not too much of a cut. It's a nice low cut filter that maybe knocked off 80 to what? 80 to hundred Hertz. I'm going to go with 80. I think it knocked off 80 Hertz. Maybe it says, I don't know. I can't, I can't. I'm just not in, I'm not in the mode where I can find anything like that, but that is a non-aggressive low cut filter. That is a nice low cut filter. Now we're getting off the low cut filter, going back to this mode because I think it sounds really freaking good for the price. That low cut filter was, uh, to my ears, maybe when I listen back in the video, I'll change my mind because I, I just do it on the fly, man. I don't even listen to test samples. This is the first time I hooked this thing up. I opened it, but that's it. Oreos and hamburgers. This, this microphone is an absolute triumph to me for the price you can get it for right now, which is one sixteen ninety seven without the coupon one sixteen ninety nine. With the 30% off coupon right now, 87.83 tax and all. 87.83 tax and all. It is extremely hard to complain at under $90 for this microphone. I know that there's other microphones that might sound as good in the $100 to $150 range, but I don't know if they have the feature set and the actual usable low cut filter. I don't, I just don't know. Donner has made great budget gear. I, like I said, I own a Donner base. I've had wireless dongles from Donner. That's a mouthful wireless dongles from Donner. And I've heard other people just praise their pedals and all their other gear. They, I'm sure this stuff's mass produced though. It doesn't look like anything I've seen completely that's mass produced. Maybe it's not mass produced, but this is this is, uh, this is some rocking stuff for the price. Way to go, Donner. I'm going to get out of here because I've talked about Oreos and all kinds of crazy stuff, and this review's getting a little long in the tooth. You're hearing just as much about my crazy ass as you are about this crazy good microphone. So link down below. I highly suggest it if you need a bright microphone with a warm bottom. Mm, warm bottom. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta get out of here, man. Obscure mics. I love this thing for the price. Peace out.